Completely power off and unplug your MacBook before you start. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to remove screws from the lower case. Note, the screws are very soft, please be careful when you work. Remove the lower case. Disconnect the battery interface, being careful not to damage other components. Slowly pry up the right speaker interface using the spudger and disconnect it. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the securing screws of the trackpad cable and remove the connector bracket. Disconnect the trackpad cable connector from the logic board. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the securing screws and spacers from the left speaker. Slowly pry up the left speaker interface using the spudger and disconnect it. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the screws securing the speakers on both sides. Use the spudger to scrape off the adhesive on the speaker. Wrap the adhesive strip around the spudger. Remove the speakers. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Note that the adhesive strip is prone to breakage. Avoid excessive pulling. Peel off the adhesive slowly. Use the spudger to sequentially scrape off the adhesive at the bottom of the battery. Wrap the adhesive strip around the spudger. Slowly and parallelly pull out the adhesive strip. Don't attempt to remove the battery cells from their metal backing tray. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Note that the adhesive strip is prone to breakage. Avoid excessive pulling, peel off the adhesive slowly. Carefully peel the trackpad cable up off the battery, and push it out of the way. Don't crease or tear the cable. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the securing screws of the battery on both sides. Remove the battery. Take the short adhesive strip from the packaging. Place it in the correct position as shown in the video. Use the spudger to peel off the protective film of the adhesive strip. Take out the new battery. Be sure to place the battery down only after aligning with the screws on both sides. Use the T3 Torx driver to install the battery securing screws on both sides. Take out the speaker, stick the long adhesive strip on the bottom. Fold the stretching band over the speaker, then peel off the protective film. Align the speakers with the screw holes, place them flat, and press gently to ensure a secure fit. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Use the T3 Torx driver to install the screws securing the speakers on both sides. Use the spudger to install the speaker interfaces on both sides. Use the T3 Torx driver to secure the screws and spacers of the left speaker.
Put the trackpad cable flat along the middle battery cell. Align the trackpad cable with the connector socket and press it gently to fasten it. Press the trackpad cable appropriately to adhere it tightly to the battery. Put the trackpad cable connector bracket in place and use the T3 Torx driver to install the two screws. Align the battery interface with the designated slot, tilt it slightly, then press it down to securely connect it to its connector. Pull down and secure the securing ring at the battery interface. Cover the MacBook. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to install the screws, and pay attention to the length of the screws. Invert the MacBook and open it. Remove the non-woven paper. For the first startup, plug in the charger. Then you can start to use the MacBook now. If there are any issues with your MacBook, please get in touch with us. Thank you.